Hello and welcome, and it's week seven, and it's the Lawrence County Football Show, and um, well, time's a flying, and the playoff hunt is heating up. Now, um, in today's action, the Canes, who um, will the real Newcastle Red Hurricane team please stand up? As they are two and three, two and four if you count the the Shaler loss, and um, you have to wonder. This is not really a two and four team. It's just uh, turnovers, mistakes, errors, and uh, they take on Knock. Now, um, Knock, a formidable opponent. Knock, two and two in the section, and with wins over um, Highlands, uh, they should be a formidable opponent. Based on their size and the way they looked last year, they're going to be tough. They're going to muscle you. It's homecoming for the Canes. Newcastle's going to have to seal up over the guards in the center uh, in order to win the game. This is big for the Canes because they got to win out to make the playoffs. Now, um, let's go Canes. Now, Next up, the Union Scotties. And um, the Scotties have, have had a rough time. They started out with a win at Shenango, suffered two losses, then got a win against Northgate. Then they took on a tough Rochester team, suffered another loss, and found themselves a 2-3. and three. Beat Bishop Canavan and found themselves a 3-3. Three and three. Last week, suffered a loss to Laurel. Okay, and this week, they play an 0-6 Carmichael team. This should be a win for Union, and then it's Olsh and West Green. Scotty's pretty much out of the playoffs, but um, will be respected for the season that they had. And uh, let's get a win. Go Big Blue tonight. Now, um, the Laurel Spartans, they'll be up next. And Laurel has to kind of win out, but Laurel has some tough things in their future. The last game of the season is with Northgate, and you shouldn't really worry about that much when you have Cornell and Stowe Rocks facing you down in the middle. A win by the Spartans in both of those games will probably lift them into the playoffs. Laurel finding a loss against Mohawk, a loss against Rochester, and then a win against Bishop Canavan and a win against California, even their season up at 2-2. Two and two. Then they had two straight losses, making it 2-4, and four found a win against Union to make it 3-4, and four, but remember, one of those games was non-league. So Cornell, 3-2, and two, look for Laurel to have a tough time out there on 108 tonight as Cornell really has a pretty decent team. Now we're going to take this time out. We'll be back on the Lawrence County Football Show right after this. Alley's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu. Pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Alley's Upper Crust. Come dine with us, come dine, come dine today. If you could use some real good food, there's a place not far away. If you could use a drink or two, or a place 
you go and play Come to Gallows Italian Villa today A special thank you to Tuscany Square Restaurant, Wilmington and Mitchell Roads, for providing funding for this program. Welcome back to the Lawrence County Football Show. And uh, next up, the Nishanic Lancers. Now, it seems as though the county schools have had this roller coaster type season and the Shannon no different as uh, they started out with losses against Avonworth and Riverside and then put together a heck of a game against the Mohawk Warriors winning 33-13 they beat Elwood City Lincoln to bring themselves a 2-2 two and two on the season and then they dropped the next two to Shadyside and New Brighton they got a win over Ford Cherry, and tonight they face Freedom. Now, the game at Freedom, and understand the Bulldogs are 3-1. and one. Very tough game, and the Bulldogs are sitting behind Mohawk. So, what in the Shanning team will show up tonight? Good question. For the Lancers, I look for them to have a tough night down in Freedom. Look for Freedom to try to cement themselves into the home field advantage as they chase the Mohawk Warriors. Now, speaking of which, the Warriors, they've had a season of wins. Beating Laurel 28-12, beating New Brighton, and then that loss against, and I can't figure out the loss to Nishanik and Freedom. And then they posted three more wins, Western Beaver, Shenango, and Riverside. Now, they have a non-league game tonight against Burgettstown, and here's the thing. Freedom dropping... <laughs> a game here and there has put the Warriors in first place. So look for Mohawk to do a tune-up against Burgettstown, which is a non-league game. Then play out with City Lincoln, which should be a win, and come back around the last game of the season with Summit Academy, which is a non-league game. So right now, Mohawk just looking to remain in first place and uh, looks like something that um, is definitely going to happen for the Warriors. Now, uh, when we get back, we have quite a bit more to talk about on the Lawrence County Sports Show football show and it is week seven so uh just hold on to the ball don't fumble and let's hear from these great sponsors the cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding mediterranean food the cedars take up menu is second to none featuring pizza stromboli hoagies their famous lamb on the rod and so much more so when you're hungry and you want that newcastle taste make it cedars now it's in newcastle 827 addis street on the east side and all cedars e724-658-9260 the crane room is a restaurant the crane room is a bar the crane room is a banquet facility the restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. Welcome back to the Lawrence County Football Show. Well... Let's talk about the Shenango Wildcats. The Cats, after uh, 
A 42-14 loss last week to Elwood City Lincoln at home. The Cats go on a journey to Elverton, PA to take on South Moreland. Now, um, this will be an interesting game as uh, South Moreland, not too much about them. The Cats having a, a rough season. The trip will be difficult. The Cats come home to New Brighton and then uh, make the trip to the Shannick. Uh, so um, hopefully Shadango could come up with a win in that game. Now, um, Elwood City Lincoln, fresh off a win over Shenango. Tonight takes on Riverside. And that game will be at Elwood City. Elwood City looks to be totally out of the playoffs as Mohawks in first place in that league. Look for this to be a rivalry game. And uh, I expect Riverside to come out on top. But when you have games like that and it's a pure rivalry, uh, you, you've got some some real interesting things that could go on. So, um, as we turn and look north, it's the Wilmington Greyhounds, who after their wake-up call against Farrell, and I think if they played that game again, the Greyhounds would not lose. Listen to these scores. 42-12 over Sharon, and then 66-19, 67-nothing. They tied Coney out Ohio, which is interesting, but the, the next two scores are 54-7, 52-6. Tonight's game won't be like that. If it is, it'll be a total shock to everyone as they take on the Blue Devils from Sharpsville. Now, Sharpsville, 7-1, their low loss coming to a team from Akron, Ohio. Look for this to be a huge game. The game's at Wilmington. I say the Hounds win in a close one. And um, it'll be something like 21-18, uh, 21-20, somewhere in there. And that'll be, if you're going to a game tonight, this is the game you'll want to see. As it will be packed with a lot of great football. Now, this was the Lawrence County Football Show. And... Um, Hopefully you've enjoyed it as we've been bringing you what's going on in the season and uh, talking about the local area teams this week seven. Now we're going to get and go out to the field and um, here's hoping you get to a game near you. So uh, have a great one and uh, we'll see you at the game.